Hey there YouTube fan, this is AC Productions and today I'm going to show you how to install Shorty Lovers and change it from this to this in no time. So let's get started. Tools needed for the job will be your ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket. That's it. Let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with the clutch side. First, what you're going to want to do is loosen up this nut here. And what you want to do is line it up with this line right here because you're going to be taking out the cable through there. So, first, take it out right there. And then on this other side, well, just do it all the way and then screw it in all the way. This will make it a lot easier. Once you screw it in all the way, just back it up until you get all the lines lined up. So right there, that line, then this line there. On the other side, it looks like this. So just make sure all the lines are lined up. Okay, next what you want to do is get your your ratchet. Sorry for the shakiness, guys, but it's working in tight space here and I need to show you what you're gonna be taking out next. There is a bolt right here on the underneath side 10 millimeter bolt that's where you're gonna need to take it out so and if you need to adjust your handlebars so you can get the better leverage on taking the bolt out so let's go in there okay once you take the bolt out you're gonna wanna pop the bolt out so just push it up it out okay so also you're gonna notice that the lever probably just popped out you also want to be careful because there is a lever here okay the lever is there's a little push button right here be careful with this because if you break it, you're gonna have to buy a whole new setup here so make sure you're careful with this little lever because it's plastic and kind of easily breakable okay okay once you take the screw out what you want to do is take this part out and then just pull on the cable take it out through the the slots just make sure that all the slots are lined up There you go. Okay, have you noticed there's going to be a sleeve inside the clutch lever. You're going to have to pull this part out because you're going to need it for the new clutch lever. So pull this out. Then flip over the lever. Then you're going to take the cable out. And that's how it comes out. Okay, next you're going to want to grab your aftermarket clutch lever. Going to grab your sleeve and you're going to put it inside. It should go in pretty easy. If need be, you may want to hammer that a little bit so it could be flush top and bottom. So poking out a little bit. I'm going to go hammer it a little bit. Okay, after hammering it, as you can see, it's even on both ends. Alright, so what you want to do is grab your cable and then put it into the notch here. There we go. There should be no tension when you put it on there. Then turn it over. Then you may want to pull it in. Pull as much as you can and put it in through this part here. Make sure that everything's lined up. Okay. And remember, there's going to be a, that little plastic piece over there uh, for the clutch. Let me uh, reposition the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. 
Okay, so as you're installing the clutch lever, make sure this plastic piece is pushed in. Because this part over here, it's going to go over that. To prevent from breaking this little piece off, just push it in. And then put your lever over it. So, again, let's move this back a little bit. So again, just push this in. And keep your finger on it while you put the lever over it. Once you get the lever there, you could let go, but hold with the other hand, hold the lever in place. And what you want to do is get your bolt and put it through. Make sure you line it up. And then turn your bolt until it seats evenly with the lever there. You can see it's flush right there. Once it's flush in, you can let go. Okay, now you want to grab your nut and put it in the bottom here. Right over here. Sometimes it can get tricky to thread it in there. But once you get it started, you can just... Get in there as much as you can. All right, then you can grab your ratchet. And you want to position your handlebars so you can get the better leverage here. Get it tight. Next step would be to okay to tighten up the tension of the clutch cable. What you want to do is put this big circle nut all the way to the end of this part here, and then start turning it counterclockwise until you start seeing this gap over here between the lever and this other piece over here so once you start seeing that close up so keep turning it until you see it close up there okay once this piece is closed let's get this part and just lock it there okay at this time you want to feel the clutch lever to see how it feels it might be a little tighter than your stock lever that's why these adjustments are here have it set at three all right put it down to one it's closer to the grip it won't feel as as tight okay now let's get to the brake side Okay, now that we're on the brake side, what you want to do is take out this bolt right here. It's a 10 millimeter nut. Okay, once you get the bottom part down, you're going to have to unscrew the top part. Okay, once you get the bolt out, just go ahead and take the lever out. Okay, then you grab your new lever and then put it right in there. Okay, just make sure you get it in there. On this side also, let me uh, zoom in here. Okay, when installing your new lever, you just want to be careful. There is a little plunger right here, a little button that's for the brakes, and also on this side too. So when you put it, just be careful that that it doesn't uh, interfere when you're doing it. If it does, put your finger on it, hold it in, and then install the lever, then let it go once it's in. Alrighty, so let's get the lever on there. Just put it in there. Make sure everything's lined up correctly. And then install your bolt. Okay, get your bolt. And then you want to just start to thread this part in. Okay, once you're done with the bolt, 
there you go that's it and you know you have uh, just six adjustments here so if you have right now I have it set to three you could adjust it to however you feel if you want the lever closer you could put it to number one now the lever is closer to the to the hand grip okay so there concludes our installation our of our shorty levers if you ever need the feel to adjust the tension on your clutch side all you do is just loosen this nut here and then turn it clockwise to make it feel more loose or counterclockwise to have the lever feel more tight once you find the desired position just tighten this nut until it's locked in place and you're all set if you would like to see more videos please like subscribe and leave any comments below I'll also leave a link in the description of where I purchased these levers. Thanks for watching.